surprise court appearance and guilty plea today from Baltimore socialite Molly Shattuck, the former Ravens cheerleader and ex-wife of the former CEO of Constellation Energy, Mayo Shattuck, now admits that she broke the law by performing a sex act on a 15-year-old boy. 11 News I Team lead investigative reporter Jane Miller first broke this story and was the first to report today's court appearance. Jane. Molly Shattuck was originally supposed to appear in court here in Sussex County, Delaware tomorrow. Today's hearing got put on the court schedule at the last minute, as if one court observer told us it was intended to keep her appearance under the radar. We made sure that didn't happen. Already well known as a one time NFL cheerleader and Baltimore socialite, Molly Shattuck today added a new claim to fame convicted sex offender. Shattuck pleaded guilty in Sussex County, Delaware court to one count of rape in the fourth degree, a felony. Ms. Shattuck has accepted full responsibility for her actions today. The plea requires Shattuck to register as a sex offender. She had no public comment, but in court she answered the judge's questions in a strong, clear voice. Yes, she said the plea was her decision. She was sure it's what she wanted to do. The plea spares the teenage boy at the center of the case from having to testify. Shattuck now admits she performed a sex act on him when he was 15 years old in a Bethany, Delaware beach house she rented for her and her children last Labor Day weekend. Shattuck allegedly met the boy through her son. Other charges that have been filed against Shattuck, including providing alcohol to minors, have gone away. Shattuck will be sentenced in August. The maximum penalty, 15 years in prison. This is obviously a very difficult time. Therefore, we ask that you respect the privacy of all involved. It would not be appropriate for me to make any further comments at this time. Shattuck's lawyer asked for a pre-sentence investigation between now and the sentence date near the end of August. She is a first-time offender, which will work to her benefit in arguing to stay out of jail. The crime of fourth degree rape does not carry a minimum sentence. Reporting live tonight from Sussex County, Delaware, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News. And Jane, thank you.